and he is here to join us for this special month. Most people in the West will recognize Mr. Ai's artistic contributions to the Beijing National Stadium, or affectionately known as the Bird's Nest, unveiled during the Summer Olympic Games in 2008. Titled Love the Future, Free Ai Weiwei, this work was created by Toronto-based artist and designer Sean Martindale, who is also in the chambers today, uh, during Ai Weiwei's detention by Chinese authorities in the spring of 2011. Members of Toronto City Council, the press, as well as the public, are welcome to take photos of this eight-foot uh, tall st statue, which is made uh, primarily of salvage cowboy Mr. Martindale collected in and around Toronto's Chinatown neighborhoods. Mr. Martindale's artistic practice is closely connected to the politics of public space, and as a result of his work, is consistently subject to and within the parameters of overarching politics of how we regulate freedoms of speech, expression, mobility, association, and so forth in such spaces. We currently live in a world that is more connected than ever before. The suppression of human rights affects each and every single one of us. At home, abroad, it should never and ever be ignored. Toronto's diverse immigrant communities have rich histories. We strengthen multiculturalism, and in the month of May, we take the opportunity to share some of our cultures, traditions, struggles, and achievements with you during the Jewish, South Asian, and Asian Heritage Month in May. Thank you very much. Thank you. Councillor McMahon, you have uh, an announcement. Sure. Uh, good morning, fine colleagues. Um, I'd like to introduce an important person. <laughs> a lot of people were uh, doing the uh, the I way way. Uh, oh, the. Yeah. <laughs> well, no, I can actually get those. All right, let's get yourself. You good?